Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to all of you listening to this message. It was more than 25 years ago when WCO members came together in Arusha, Tanzania, and declared their commitment to combating corruption and building integrity in customs. Subsequently revised in 2003, the WCO revised Arusha Declaration concerning good governance integrity provides customs administrations with a practical approach for national customs integrity programs. Often the divide between policy and practice is the hardest to bridge in any aspect of customs, but even more so when it comes to the complex and sensitive topic of integrity. Recognizing this, the WCO has acted as a steward of lessons learned from our members' integrity initiatives and has compiled this practical information into tools and expert resources that help members implement the revised Arusha Declaration. In addition, the WCO has placed integrity at the heart of its strategic goals and has ensured integrity principles are embedded in all of its key policy instruments for customs, including the revised Kyoto Convention. In so doing, the WCO's members are better positioned to put international commitments, such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the Convention Against Corruption, into concrete action. For example, articles of the Convention relate to code of conducts, transparency in the public sector, and engagement with the private sector as a key partner against corruption, all of which are particularly addressed in key WCO instruments. Nevertheless, for any integrity initiatives to have a chance of success, it needs to be focused and sustained in response to this and with the support of Norway as funding partner, last year, the WCO launched the flagship Anti-Corruption and Integrity Promotion Program, or ACIP program, that provides a sustained multi-annual commitment of technical assistance and capacity building to WCO members. This commitment is mutual. The WCO ACIP program embodies not only the technical commitment from the WCO Secretariat, but also, and most importantly, the commitment from custom administrations to take a concrete step towards putting words into action. The number of participating administrations since the start of the program has nearly doubled and continues to grow. This clearly illustrates the importance of this issue to WCO members. This year in particular, with the massive global challenges that have been posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, integrity efforts within the custom community become even more vital. With any crisis come additional vulnerabilities and opportunities for corruption. At the same time, corruption has an even greater impact when pressure on revenue collection rise and the safety and security of medical and food supplies are critical. Therefore now, more than ever, the WCO is ready to support its members combat corruption. Our new e-learning module provides members access to distanced learning on the main WCO integrity development tools highlighting the importance of integrity in the customs environment. Our integrity web series has brought to light several topics relating to customs and integrity, including gender and integrity, measuring corruption and the role of revised Kyoto Convention in fighting corruption. Lastly, on this International Anti-Corruption Day, it is important to remember that corruption does not happen in a vacuum. 
The WCO is therefore committed to working with the partners of customs, private sector NGOs, and the international community to fight corruption and build integrity. This has included collaboration with the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the Network of Corruption Preventing Authorities, OECD, International Anti-Corruption Academy and African Union Advisory Board of Corruption, as well as our own private sector consultative group. It is an honor for me today, on behalf of customer administrations around the world, to join the international community in building a foundation of trust, accountability, and transparency, and to educate and empower our customs officers and citizens. Thank you. Thank you.